I love Christmas and I'm so excited because some of my favorite farmers, fishermen and cooks who I met on my Pitchin' In Travels are joining me for a fantastic Christmas feast. Are you excited? Are you excited? You know what's for supper tonight, right? It's a very special menu. We're having heritage turkey, roast leg of lamb, lobster mashed potatoes, cornbread and chorizo stuffing, pierogi with bacon onion jam, Brussels sprouts with chestnuts, butternut squash with espalette peppers, and for dessert, figgy toffee pudding with a port wine sauce. While we're preparing dinner, we're going to snack on this maple glazed ham on cheddar biscuits. After years of pitching in down on the farm, I'm turning the tables and inviting my newfound friends to my home for Christmas dinner. It's going to be a pitching in Christmas. I can't tell you how excited I am. I've been planning this Pitchin' In Christmas for months now. My friends that are coming for dinner today are really memorable. I've met them all on my Pitchin' In journey. I have Frank the lobster fisherman coming. I've got Andrew the lamb farmer, Danny the turkey farmer, Terry is coming with some maple syrup. Judy's coming with her pierogies, and Miss Annie, she's coming all the way up from Georgia with her delicious cornbread. I think we're ready, Charlie. Pork chop? These folks have become like family to me, and I really can't wait to see them, but more importantly, for them to meet each other. Lynn, anybody home? Hello! Terry's here. Is he cute or what? Come on. Hey. Oh my gosh! How you doing? <laughs> I brought you a real Christmas tree. How Canadian is this Christmas tree? How's it look? We're live. Fantastic! This is Christmas. I'm bringing my certified organic maple syrup. What fun it was to visit Terry at his sugar bush where I learned about tapping trees. You know, I also learned that Terry's a little bit of a prankster. <laughs> and well, he made me clean out all of those maple tap lines all by myself. Maybe I'll get Terry doing a few jobs. But whatever, you know what? He makes the best maple syrup in the world. Delicious. I can't tell you, this is my favorite maple syrup. I could drink it by a cupful. Well, this is going to be perfect in this glaze that I'm making for this beautiful ham. It doesn't feel like a day's gone by between me and Chef Lynn. And we're just going to put a little bit of this Hoover's maple syrup right there. That's. <laughs> so good. I mean, seriously. I'm a little prejudiced, but you can put my syrup on anything and it'll taste good. Do you want to give that a stir, Terry? That's got mustard and applesauce. Whoa! That looks good. La, 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 la. Now you get to glaze it. Bring the whole pot over and look at this ham. Okay, it's got mm -hmm. cloves, it's braising and some apple cider, and now we put that maple mustard glaze right on top. Are you ready? Nice. It's got a little bit of ginger in there too. So if we cut a piece right here, they wouldn't notice, would they? They would probably wouldn't oh. notice, but it's not quite ready okay. yet. Can you wait? Okay. I'll, I'll try. <laughs> I'm gonna put out a platter of that carved ham and a mountain of those cheddar biscuits. I need one and a quarter cup of grated aged cheddar. We've got some flour, some baking powder and baking soda. Put some rosemary, okay. chilled butter. So we're just going to pulse that and add that cheese. Just all of it? Or yeah, just... yep, that's about one and a quarter cup. Am I doing this right? What do you mean, are you doing it right? You're moving the cheese well... from the cutting board that you grated right into the bowl. This is perfect. Okay. And then we're just going to give this a quick spin for just a couple of pulses. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix in the buttermilk. Oh. So just take a little bit of flour on your hands, right? Like that. Just like the old gymnast. <laughs> yes, like you're gonna go on the parallel bars. And just, just gather it together in your hands. Pull it together. Pull it I'm together, trying to Terry. Pull it just together. pull it together. <laughs> <laughs> now get that rolling pin. Wonderful. Oh my gosh, so great. And I'm gonna get the egg wash ready for on top of the biscuits and what the egg wash does Terry it just makes them they glisten here we go we'll place those biscuits we'll put them on onto here. the baking tray I'm making some kind of biscuits all I know is I'm getting my fingers dirty so 
So, Picasso, mm -hmm. could you, okay. <laughs> could you yep. please? And I'm just going to check on that ham. And I'm bringing these over there. Yes, please. Are you ready? Yes. Kiss your biscuits. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Give them a kiss. Okay. You love the biscuits. <laughs> oh. And in, and we, in go. we go. Does it have to go? 20 minutes. So we're going to make turkey gravy, and we're going to need a little bit of mirepoix. So if you wouldn't mind just dicing up the celery and the carrots and the onions, I'm going to add that to the stock. Okay. Into that pot. Okay. Hello. Hello. Oh, my God. Hello, Chevrolet. Oh, I love Miss Hanny. I'm thrilled. Now the party's going to get started. <laughs> I met Miss Annie when I went to Vidaya, Georgia to pick sweet onions. She's known for her prize-winning recipe for sweet onion and cornbread pudding. And you know, she also taught me her prize-winning victory dance. You want to learn the victory dance? Yeah, I do! Hey, I did victory dance! <laughs> and with all those delicious sugar-filled onions, you know what? She's amazing, and she has a lot to celebrate. <gasps> okay. Look at that pretty that purple beautiful. bag. I can only picture it. A big bag of Vidaya onions, and she gets on the plate. <laughs> Did you actually bring these all the way? Yes, all the way from Vidalia, Georgia. Oh, <laughs> now she's in my house. Too funny. I hope you're using Vidalia onions. Never imagined that I would come to Canada to see Chef Lynn. We talked about it, but never. <laughs> And what you want me to do in the kitchen? Well, I'm going to get you cooking in one second, but okay. look okay. at this. Beautiful ham. Oh, my gosh, what's oh, that? Hello, anyone home? When I come through the door, I can already smell all the food already starting to cook. And it feels so warm and toasty. All the Christmas decorations are just so beautiful. Oh, my gosh. Hello. This is Danny. Hi, Hi. Danny. Oh, oh, so goodness. I could only imagine what's happening at the airport. <laughs> Here comes a woman with a big bag of Vidaya onions, and now there's a gentleman coming with a heritage turkey. Like, what's next? I've got a guest list of some of my most memorable Pitchin' In friends celebrating Christmas dinner with me. And there comes Danny, and that smile on that man's face. <laughs> I haven't seen you so long. I brought a heritage turkey all the way from Kansas oh, for our Christmas yes. dinner. I loved working on Danny's farm. I can't tell you, it was hilarious. Those turkeys have so much personality and rotten eggs. <laughs> Oh my gosh, they made me gag. And I'm telling you, when you start hurting those turkeys, well, let's just say that that was an embarrassing moment. But I have to tell you, I have never tasted a heritage turkey that tastes as good as Danny's. Giving me another chance to cook that turkey is another amazing Christmas gift. Danny, if you wouldn't mind carving the ham. Okay. Okay, and grab your biscuits. Now remember, okay. they're going to be hot coming out of there. These are a little snack that we can all have. Come on, let's open this up. Put it right here. What are you guys going to eat? <laughs> <laughs> we got the ham. <laughs> In my family, we don't have turkey at Christmas. We have ham at Christmas. Turkey is for Thanksgiving, ham is for Christmas. Thanks, Danny. We have extra wings. Right. I'm going to get a few of the beautiful Vidaya onions, and I'm going to slice that to put on the, the base of that roasting pan. Mm -hmm. Now, what I also like to do is I'd like to give it a little hint of citrus. So I just take each piece as mm -hmm. I put it into the cavity, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I just squirt it squirt and it? stuff that mm -hmm. in. You know what, you just need the, the rosemary inside. Mm -hmm. We're going to put okay. the butter right underneath okay. the skin. And then I take the back of the spoon and you just push, push our Christmas herb butter. That's got parsley, okay. some thyme, some sage. Mm -hmm. That's all underneath the skin okay. like that. We'll lift yeah. up yeah. and right onto that lovely bed of sliced Vidaya onions. Yeah. We'll put okay. that apple cider right okay. in. Perfect, perfect. Chef Annie, 
Would okay. you do the honors? I'm oh, ready. Don't drop oh. it. Don't drop it. Oh. I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> One, two, three. All right. Oh. Okay. Very good. Look at this little yes. tree. Oh, and that wow. beautiful little shrimp Christmas beautiful. tree. Which I think is just hilariously fun. Let's go into the right. living room. It's got cocktail sauce. <laughs> I think it's hilarious. Looks good enough to eat. Please, everybody, have a seat. I have some warm citrus spiced olives, spiced nut mix the biggest cheese platter, and the maple glazed ham, cheddar biscuits, and the biggest bowl of whipped maple butter. You did such a fine job cutting here, Danny. Oh, thanks. So in honor of our Christmas gathering, I've, I've created a, a Christmas cocktail, and I've called it the Pitchin' In. And in that concoction, there is some spiced rum, some apple cider, a little bit of puree of carrots. So oh, who's wow. in? One, two. Can you hold the carrots? I will not. <laughs> you have to try it. Okay. I knew. OK. Ready. So this is the cocktail. Got some ice in the shaker. Make sure the lid's on tight. <laughs> <laughs> there, oh, jeez. See the color? That's it. And then you pour that, look, into these beautiful glasses. And it's brown butter and sugar rim. Isn't that a pretty color? It's beautiful. Annie? And Terry okay. and Danny. Oh, save the best for last. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. The biscuit is so wonderful. It's so soft. Look at that. You have nice biscuits, Terry. <laughs> oh, thank you. My biscuits, they turned out fantastic. You know what? To be honest, we've got a lot of work to do. See that wonderful tree? It needs okay. to be decorated. All right. All right. We'll get somebody on that right away. I have something for you. Oh, yes. It's right Come here. here. Oh, my God. Oh, and I'm just going to oh, leave you oh, two. Oh. I think Chef Lynn's getting me back for making her wash all those sap lines. You don't need to clean the lines, but we have... I think I know. I we have a little popcorn garland. Now the tables have turned. Well, here's one, so you know what to do. Here's your needle, here's your thread, and go. You're going to get the honors of making stuffing. It's all about chorizo, sausage, and, and cornbread. So we have Annie's recipe. It's the best cornbread pudding I've ever tasted. But I made that, and I've crumbled it up into big chunks. So crack those eggs actually right into the stock. What if I put... Shells in there. You won't do that. I have all the faith and confidence in you. We got two of them now. What are you putting in it? Maybe I'm, I'm doing that. I'm trying to kind of go through a meaty part. Probably the most comical creatures that I've worked with were, in fact, the turkeys. Like, they've got that laugh. <laughs> when Chef Lynn was out in Kansas, I laughed the entire time. It was a great time. So, we add a little bit of the cornbread. Up here. And then we add all of that lovely chorizo and the onions and the celery with the thyme. Now you want this in there? Yeah, you add that mixture. Let's see how I'm gonna do it before. Good. All right. That one stayed up. One down. I'll be done here in about 62 hours. Chef Lee gave us the hardest job. <laughs> with that popcorn. Here, add some pecans. That should be enough. Fresh parsley. Let's get a little bit of parsley in there. Excellent. Wow. Look, this is good. This is Christmas. The smells coming out of the kitchen are amazing. And we're going to just, Danny, we're going to pour that okay. straight into the... Put it right in here. Fantastic. And the last touch is a little bit of Parmesan cheese, which you just rasp on top and okay. as much as you like. Parmesan <laughs> snow. Should we bring some snow in from outside? <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect, Danny. Gorgeous. Into the oven it goes. Okay. Looks awesome. Good. Yummy. And there you go. Thank yes. you for beautiful stuffing. Oh. Why don't you uh, get the two organized? Because you know what? If they don't, <laughs> if they don't get a little supervision, this <laughs> tree will <laughs> never be decorated. Uh, well, I may not be able to help them too much, but I'll try. <laughs> you know, this is what happens at family Christmas <laughs> gatherings. There's too much fun. <laughs>
and not enough work's getting done. If you put the maple Christmas tree that Terry brought me and my shrimp tree side by side, that is the most ridiculous snapshot that you've ever seen. And if Danny can't get everybody moving, I'm telling you, the shrimp tree and that maple tree will be the only two trees that are trimmed in this house. I'm doing an okay job? Yes! You're doing good. Yes! For a farm boy. <laughs> For a farm boy. Here we go. Turkey wing. Gravy. The gravy is all about Vidaya onions and caramelized turkey wings. Just gonna give a little bit of extra flavor to the gravy. It's not possible to have Christmas dinner without gravy. Crack black pepper. You know, gravy go on everything. <laughs> I gotta get this turkey gravy ready before Frank comes. A little bit of rosemary, thyme, a little garlic. How are you guys doing over there? We're doing We're good. We're doing good. Keep going. To glaze that pan with the turkey stock, cover those turkey wings. Just let it simmer and tick away. Hello, everybody. I'm Frank. Hey. Hello, Frank. Hey. Hi, I'm Terry. Glad to meet you. Hi, I'm Danny. Glad, Glad to meet you. How you doing? Annie Higgins, nice to meet you. Glad to meet you. Well, if it isn't the most well, famous lobster fisherman <laughs> from God, Nova God. Scotia, Frank, <laughs> welcome. <laughs> Merry Thank Christmas. You. Oh, Frank is finally here, and he's got the biggest box of fresh lobsters that he himself has caught. I met Frank when I decided to take on lobster fishing. Okay, let's go lobster fishing! <laughs> well, my memories of Frank are... Well, let's just say he's the loveliest man I've ever met. But then again, he made me cut up the most disgusting, horrific bait you can imagine. What a thing! I almost lost it. I mean, really lost it. But then he thought it was pretty funny. But you know what? His lobster? Delicious. If anybody knows where to find the most tender, succulent, juicy lobsters, it's Frank. And this is your season, and I can't believe that you're actually got some time to come and, and visit with us. I'm so excited, everybody. Yes. Are you ready? They're not alive, are they? Oh, they oh, wow. are. Wow. Oh, wow. Are. I have never seen live lobster. The only time I see a lobster, they was on television. <laughs> Look at want to hold it? Uh, no, I just be holding the turkey. Hello? Thank you very much. <laughs> I do not need to touch a lobster. <laughs> okay, Frank, you ready to cook those lobsters? Yes, we're ready. Okay, look at that. This is a cool bouillon. Oh, do you know that. what that is? I have no idea. <laughs> We've got some salt, some onions, some lemon, bay leaves, and thyme. You're going to put those lobsters in? You want me to put them in? Yes, please. Ta-da! Okay, we'll let those come to the boil and cook for about 12 minutes and then we're gonna have the finest lobster mashed potatoes in honor of you. These lobster mashed potatoes are absolutely brilliant. We are going to bake a cake. Bake a cake? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> a figgy toffee pudding. I'm not a cook of any kind. I cook for Frank, and Frank enjoys it. I don't cook for others. These are black mission figs. Do you want to try that? Sure. You've had a fig before? Well, I'm going to have one now, but I haven't. <laughs> Might be my first time. Seriously? Oh, Frank. What do well, you think? They're tasty just the way they are. They're just yeah, sweet. They're, they're almost like honey. All right, you want to cream the butter and the brown sugar together in the mixer. OK, you get yeah. everything in there. There we go. Do you want me to crack the eggs? It doesn't matter, I can crack them. Okay, we'll lock it, and then you're gonna drive, go slowly. Remember when you're, when you just left, left the dock, you go nice and slow, don't right. let go full steam ahead. Right. 
beautiful. Frank, I'm just going to get these lobsters out of the pot because they look terrific. Look at the color of those. What a treat. I'm ready. Oh, fantastic. Ready. Well, then just plop them in one at a time. One just at one a at a time. I've got them all in the bowl here. One, two, there's a third one. Okay, you got them all in? They're all in there. Now, you want to add the flour and that baking soda and baking powder into the mixer. There we go. Like filling up the traps, okay. the lobster traps. Okay. That's it. The rest of it, just like that. Add the fig puree right to the pot and let it incorporate together. Look, it's all coming together. Shut down the stand mixer. We'll pour that batter. And then we're home stretch, I think. Do you want to put it right to the oven? Oh, sure. Yes, sir. Be good for Frank. And I'm going to get our fig and port sauce on the go. So, Frank, this is brown sugar and butter. Brown Mel sugar and butter. Yeah, melted together. So let's get the figs. You want me to cut a couple of those figs? Yes, please. Perfect. I'm going to add those figs right in to that pan. You really want me for cook. Well, I am a cook. <laughs> That's what I do. Well, I didn't know that. <laughs> I'm like other things. I'm a pretty good rancher and fisherman. I'm right. a pretty good farmer. So I'm using clementines. You smell that? I smell it. It's just like a nice perfume. We'll put it right here. <laughs> Those figs are happy now. Do you want to see figs get really happy? Yes, I Let's do. Give yes. it a splash of pork. Give it a retaste. Is it good? It's really good, yeah. Frank thinks that he's done and he's ready to put his feet up. Well, not quite yet. I've got something planned. My Pitchin' and friends, Danny, Terry, and Miss Annie have got the tree trimming underway. Annie, are you putting the star up top? Oh, I guess I will. If y'all gonna give me some hee holes <laughs> and get me up, I guess I will. But I've got one last job for Frank. It's an easy job, not to worry, Frank. Well, Frank, you did such a great job on that cake, and now we've got one more little job to do. We're gonna make lobster mashed potatoes. We are. Yes, and you know how we're gonna do that? I don't. You're going to peel the potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Just peel them up then, Frank, and then we'll cut them into like, you know, one inch pieces into the pot. Salt and water, all right? And I'm just going to check on a few little things over here. Let's get that just ticking away. Oh my oh. gosh. Who's here? Judy's here. Hello, Lynn. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Oh. Hi, Hi, Judy. She was brought pierogies. Oh, Judy's pierogies. I had the pleasure of meeting royalty when I went potato farming. Judy is crowned the pierogi queen. And hands down, she really does make the best pierogi I've ever eaten. Really good. So when I decided I was going to cook with Judy, I really wanted to mix it up a bit and fill the pierogi with some different ingredients. Some of my favorites. I'm going to stuff with potato a little bit of duck confit and foie gras. And that's when I discovered that Judy is, well, she's quite the picky eater. Do you want to try it? No. But today, Judy is bringing her homemade pierogi and... I will just eat them until they're all gone. There will be no pierogi leftovers <laughs> at this table, I'm telling you. Frank brought these lobsters all the way from Nova Scotia. Wow. I've never had lobster before. Now we're going to clean them, okay. and that's going to be for the lobster mashed potatoes that wow. Frank's in charge of. I do not know anything about lobster. What we want to do now is just remove the tail and pull. It's like a Christmas cracker. Okay. Now, what I do is I just hold it here and crack. Yeah, right. Okay, use your muscles. <laughs> you 
Use your muscles. Use your muscles. You can do it. You can do it. Use your muscles, Frank. Get in here. We need some muscles. Come on. I'm the potato man. I'm busy. <laughs> And there's the tail. Isn't oh, that gorgeous? Look gorgeous. at that. Just take a little bit. Okay. No. Come on. Is it cooked? Yes, it's cooked. Okay. <laughs> yes, it's cooked. I was a little reluctant after my first go at trying to have Judy taste something for the very first time. But you got to try this lobster. The lobster is not that good. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, that's okay. <laughs> the look on her face was not what I expected. <laughs> you might find the claw taste a little bit different than this. I make you grow. Make me what? <laughs> Frank is hard to understand. I make you grow. Grow. Grow, yeah. You grow taller. But it's got a heart of gold. Really? Really, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now you're going to tell me how good it tastes. Okay. There! <laughs> Isn't that good? That tastes better. A little bit than this. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe on its own, it's not so good. But the mashed potatoes, be good. Could I offer you a drink? Ah, uh, you sure can. Okay then. Okay. I'm making you a pitching in. Oh, that drink. sounds great. Good job. Looks good, Frank. Thank you. Hello, Chef Lynn. Andrew! How are you? Good, yourself? My shepherd friend. Andrew is a gentle giant, and he produces the best lamb I've ever tasted. Hands down. I remember meeting Andrew. He's like my big brother, my really big brother. Nice to meet you, I'm Lynn. You too. Andrew works the sheep with his amazing dogs, and when I was there, he had his dogs actually bring the herd of sheep into the barn for me to shear. I'll tell you, that is hard work. It's just, seriously, isn't there a barber shop? You know, he's a shepherd in a family that goes back generations and produces probably the best lamb I've ever tasted, and that's the truth. For our Christmas dinner, Andrew is bringing a leg of lamb, that delicious lamb. But what he doesn't know is that I am going to get him to help cook it. Wow, fantastic. You've deboned it already for yep. me? Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. And now all you have to do is cook it. Me? Yeah. That might not be a good idea. No. <laughs> In the kitchen, I'm probably comfortable cooking beans on toast or something. We've got a little turkey wing gravy that is just about ready. And this is the Vidaya onion cornbread that Miss Annie prepared and brought. And for the next little project, which is you and me, I've got some spinach and some onions. I've just sauteed those up. And we're going to stuff and roll that leg of lamb. Sounds good. Do so you want to butcher it up sure. for me? Just slice it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> You're not shearing it. Andrew looks ferocious. <laughs> Sorry. But he has the biggest heart. We're gonna just break it open just a little bit. Andrew, this is gorgeous. Why am I doing it? Okay, so, <laughs> so what I'd like you to do yep. is just, we're gonna make a flap so it goes this way, so it's gonna come to about that length. Give it a shot. Oh, fantastic. Andrew, do you wanna maybe just season that out with salt and some cracked black pepper? Sure. And I have one of my favorite marinades, and that's the one that I cooked with you when we had that wonderful dinner. Can you remember what it was? Got a big long name on it. <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, Andrew, I don't know what long name you're thinking about marinade. Is that, is that it? That's the same marinade, and in that it's the lemon, capers, anchovies, lots of herbs, some garlic, and a little bit of mustard. So. Smear a little bit of that in the inside. Yep, yeah, perfect. We don't actually have lamb on our Christmas dinner table. And rub that all over the surface. We always have uh, a great big turkey and just piles and piles of food. Look at those, <laughs> look at those hands. This, this kills me. That <laughs> hand, I'll never forget. Okay. All right, now we're gonna put the spinach and the shallots all over on all top good. of that. So yeah. How much? yeah, all of it, all, all of it. that. Yeah, because this all is the, the nice stuffing. All right, okay, so, so it's time up. to time to roll it up. 
and try to keep everything inside. No. Yeah, you want to, Sorry, just roll it onto itself like this. Oh, okay. Right? And then you just make a nice little log. Right? Beautiful. We'll just take a piece here like this. And we're going to tie it here at the top. Nice and tight. Okay, chef? Okay, I'll try not to make a mess. No, I <laughs> yes. You're a natural. And then you're going to roll it. Roll it. It's like falling off the bed. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew's rolling with it in the kitchen, but I wonder if he can handle what I'm going to get him to do next. Dinner is almost ready. You know, Andrew isn't much of a, a chef at home. To watch him prepare his, you know, <laughs> leg of lamb, hilarious. Now I'm gonna have him cook it. Take a little bit of that olive oil into the center of the pan. Take your tongs, Andrew, and gently place it into the pan. The best sound in the world, <laughs> right there. Do you smell this lamb? Yes, we do. A round of applause for Andrew. OK. Yes. <laughs> this house smells wonderful. Now, quarter turn. That's right. And did you get nice color there? Oh, my gosh. It's amazing. First sear is perfect. All right. Andrew, Andrew, and sear. Next side. It was like watching some Olympic game of roasting leg of lamb. Yes, it's All perfect! Right. Hey. And we'll just put that into that roasting pan. Oh, honestly. And we'll just put a little bit of that marinade right on top of it. It's a little extra bonus. We've got room for you right there. Nice. Oh my gosh, look at this beautiful tree. You guys have done a great Thank job. You. Thank, you. Thank you. The Christmas tree is looking great. I, I think we're doing an excellent job. Here, you're going to put, okay, I'll put one on. on. Leon, you got to give him a boost. Stop. What's that? Am I making you nervous yet? <laughs> Pull on this okay, side. Okay, Miss Eddie. Push it back. Push it back. Yeah. <laughs> beautiful. Ta ta ta. Ta I'm glad you stayed up. Push it all way back. Oh, my neighbors are coming in and they carol every year. Hi, everybody. How are you? What a treat. Tis the season to be jolly. Fa la 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 la. Don't we never gain a carol? Fa la 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 la. Terry and Frank, you're going to set the table. Good. Okay. In our family, you grab your cutlery, you grab your plate, you grab your food, you sit down. Just as best you can. <laughs> Here, it's a little more fancier. Miss Annie, if you wouldn't mind, the just the last touches on the Brussels okay. sprouts, we'll just take the outside leaves off, mm -hmm. and then we'll cut those in half. Chef Lynn is putting air by the work. Judy and Danny, we're going to be doing a espalette and smoked paprika roasted butternut squash. Okay? So okay. this is one of my most favorite squash. Very sweet. And right here, we just cut down. And this is where all the seeds are. And then you're just going to cut them into okay. wedges. All right, you all come on. Get ready for that table. We're working. <laughs> we're working it. I have to keep everybody in line to make sure it get done. You can't get nothing by Miss Annie, no. She's got an awful sharp eye. I almost think she's got an eye in the back of her head. We're going to make the creamy lobster mashed potatoes. The lobster's cooked in that hot, heavy cream and some butter. And then you've got the potatoes perfectly mashed. We're going to marry the two together. I've never had lobster before, so I'm really looking forward to trying that. 
Look at all those beautiful nuggets. And now we just, yes, we just want to stir those two together. I'm most excited to try those lobster mashed potatoes. Those sound amazing. <laughs> it's good. It's really good. All we have to do to Miss Annie's cornbread pudding is just warm it up in the oven. This place smells like Christmas. Okay, I'm gonna need a hand. Who'd like to help? Okay. All right, you in? Sure. <laughs> and that is one gorgeous looking turkey. Look at that. So we're gonna make the gravy and I just have to try to get this out. Woo! I love making gravy. This is really quick and simple. So we're going to take all of those beautiful braised onions. No headaches, no, no stress. Put them into, uh, into here, just the onions, and we'll add just a touch of the juice, okay? We'll give that a nice puree. Do we need more? Get them? Is that well, maybe just a touch more. All right, we'll put that on the motor. Now, this, look at this. Oh, do you want to try this, Terry? Mm -hmm. How was that? It's good. That is good. It, it just, wow. So what we're going to do now, Terry, is a turkey wings with the turkey stock and all of those lovely flavors. I'm going to strain out all of that goodness and shake off all that juice. Okay. We're going to add that onion puree right in. Just uh, it can take a little bit more. This is a masterpiece. Make it just a little bit more decadent. Just a few knobs of butter. And we freshen it up. Okay. So turn off. And it's ready! I'm really excited to sit down and eat. I'll have a seat at the table and I'll take it from here. Don't let it be too long. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take care of the accompaniments for them. For Judy's pierogies, I've chosen to do a caramelized onion and bacon jam. Oh, pierogi, anyone? Now, let's talk about Brussels sprouts. Love Brussels sprouts. And then chestnuts and cream. Season them up with salt and pepper. And then add all of that Parmesan cheese. Yay. <laughs> Look at that! Doesn't that look gorgeous? Roasted leg of lamb for everybody. Lovely. This is our Vidalia onion and chorizo ah. stuffing. Miss Annie's cornbread pudding really inspired my stuffing. Yes, I'd ever smell good. I just want to give that sort of cornbread twist to it with some nice chorizo sausage. And here we have espalette pepper and smoked paprika, roasted Ooh. butternut squash. Wow. Lobster mashed potato. Wonderful, wonderful. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Wonderful. That could be put in a picture, but uh, it's be better off in my mouth. Well, you know what, everybody? We're missing two things. Yes. Yes. The turkey. And the tree. We have to light up the Christmas tree. Yay. Yay. On the count of three, are you ready? Ready. One. One. Two. really, really looked nice when Lynn plugged the Christmas tree in and lit her all up. It was a great thing. Full, the finest, the most delicious looking Ready. turkey Ready. I have ever seen. Ready. Wow. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry wow. Christmas. What a feast. Let's Merry eat. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the, the aroma in this kitchen right now is just like my mouth is watering. My Pitchin and friends have worked so hard to prepare this beautiful Christmas feast. And now, everything's pretty much ready to go. Let's just dive in. This Christmas deserves a victory dance. <laughs> Miss 
Sandy, would you like to uh, say grace yes. before we eat Christmas dinner? Yes. Let's hold hands. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for this Christmas day. We thank you, Lord, for all the food that you have blessed us with. We thank you for all the chef that came in and helped prepare this food for this Christmas. Amen. 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 All right. Very nice. Time to eat. Well, Merry Christmas and bon appetit. There we Merry go. Merry Christmas. Christmas. Everything looks delicious. It's not time to talk. It's time to eat. That's right. <laughs> Oh, you know. Oh, that, that is excellent. Oh, that stuffing. How could that turkey taste so good? Mm. It's all the love I put into it. <laughs> I've had turkey before, but uh, not as good as this one. Wow. wow. This one's like melting your mouth. Mm. I've cooked a lot of turkeys in my days. Never had one that moist. This is the first time I've had lamb. I've never had lamb either. But it's, it's great. I love it. Something neat. I'll be having it again. Good. Andrew's lamb is just divine. Oh. oh my god. I've never had a pierogi before. I'm really excited about this, Judy. Here we go. You are the queen. I didn't know you cream people made tacos. You are that huh? oh that's that's nice. Pierogies, tacos. Really, Frank? Tacos? Okay, Frank. Your moment of truth. Let's see how well you did your mashed potatoes here. <laughs> yeah. Right. There's a mmm. Can't even it's talking with my mouth full. <laughs> uh, the lobster mashed potatoes. Oh, they're heavenly. Judy, did you try the mashed potatoes? I did. Huh? Yeah. Who's a fan of lobster now? At least it's better than frog gras. What a lovely Christmas dinner. Man, a variety of food. We take pride in what we make, and it, it, the proof is in the pudding. I mean, everything is just perfect, and with a little help from Chef Lynn, it's it's an excellent, excellent meal. All I know is that next year, it's Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew's cooking dinner. <laughs> well, everybody, it looks like you may have saved a little bit of room for our desserts that Frank mm. actually right. baked for us. Yeah. So I'm gonna go get that ready. Sitting at this table, belly's full. I can hardly wait to have dessert. Everybody has their favorite Christmas dessert. For me, it was always about a sticky toffee pudding. But this year, it's a figgy toffee pudding. Come on. I made a sauce with fresh figs, some brown sugar, cinnamon, clementines, and port. What's wrong with that? And then finished off with some maple sweet vanilla cream. Come on. And here it comes. That's a Christmas dessert. Figgy wow. toffee pudding. Oh, it looks just so beautiful. With maple whipped cream. Oh, that is. Right. That piece de resistance right there. <laughs> wow. Now, everybody, Frank is responsible for dessert. Frank didn't know he could make a cake. <laughs> <laughs> this is a fantastic Christmas memory. It looked good. <laughs> I hope everybody survives it. Yeah. <laughs> All the warmth, the laughter. And all the amazing food, it's just been a wonderful day. That's amazing. Wow, Chef Frank. Yeah. This Christmas will be in my heart forever. Flipping excellent. <laughs> I remember this Christmas forever. It's one of those memories that will never go away. Mm. Wow. Man, is that ever good? A perfect Christmas with family. <laughs> I only hope we can do it again next year. <laughs> well, Miss Annie, what do you think about that Christmas dessert? It is so wonderful. You, it's are you, yes. are, are you thinking yes. what I'm thinking? Yes. Everybody, yes. I, I'm thinking what you're thinking. Come on. Everybody, victory dance. Miss Annie, show us how to do it. Oh, victory dance. Yes. This day was one of my most favorite Christmas gatherings. Hands down. So thank you. And Merry Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. <laughs>